So the question came up, how do I color bones? Well, coloring a bones is a byproduct of grouping. So let me show you what grouping is. Grouping is the ability to flag a bunch of objects to be an, within a certain group. And groups are important because they can be filtered and different things can be applied to them like motion clips and obviously the thing that we were the question was was can colors be applied to them and that's that's what we're want more after right now so let's pick all of the right of this dinosaur the right leg and so we'll create a here we'll right click on the selection and we'll, because they're all selected I can right click anywhere actually and pick group and new group and I'll call this new group right leg and I'm going to pick the items of selected because I have the whole right leg selected and I just pick OK and there you'll note if I click off of it that the right leg has been colored if you want to pick your own custom color, you just go into Setup, uh, Groups, and then you can pick a color there. Let's just say, for argument's sake, we'll do them all red. So back here, you'll see from now on, the right leg is red. And what's great about this is that you can filter it and can show that only my right leg will show up on the item list here and so sometimes when you have a really complex rig you want to just isolate it down to certain things at a time so here I'm going on right leg and if I'd made a left leg or if I'd made just controlling objects say um, I just want the animator to never touch these objects but I just want them to touch the controlling objects you could make a group for that and obviously in Compose groups have a huge importance uh, with motion clips and so that's the very basics of, of uh, coloring groups and uh, obviously there's way more we could deal with but I think that's answered that question.